Okay, so in today's math lesson, we started talking about ordered pairs. And ordered pairs is a means of find, finding an exact location on a grid. And an ordered pair looks a little like this. We have what are called coordinates. So we have the first coordinate. Okay, and we have the second coordinate. That value may be positive or negative. It could be a rational number. Anything we can locate on a number line. Now here, here's my grid. Now my grid here is comprised of two number lines. We have an x-axis and a y-axis, and those are independent number lines. Zero for both the x and the y, right smack in the middle here, and this is called the origin, which is zero comma zero. So it's zero on the x and zero on the y. And if I were to number these, here's my x-axis, is one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And on the left side of my origin would be my negative 1, my negative 2, my negative 3, and so on. Now for the y-axis, the same thing. I have my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, kind of like a thermometer. And then my negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, kind of like that. All right, so that's how it goes. Now there are arrows, so these go uh, forever in these four directions. So the number, not, the number lines never end. All right, so what we can do now, now that we have our ordered pair, oh, by the way, as the x is always, always comes before the y. So the first coordinate is, is the x-coordinate for the x-axis, and the second coordinate is for the location on the y-axis. All right, so our first coordinate here, our ordered pair, is 7, 2. So 7 goes with the x, and the 2 goes with the y. So... I need to count over to 7, which is right over here, okay, and then up 2 on the y, so 7 for the x, right, 7 for the x, 2 for the y, and they meet right there, okay? And that's kind of how it works. The next guy here, I have 3 for the x and negative 4 on the y, so 3 for the x brings me over here, negative 4 on the y brings me over here, and those guys meet right there. And that's how we go. So if I'm running two negatives, I have a negative on the x. Negative on the x is over here. That's my x-axis. There's my negative 2. And then negative 1, I'm going to go down. Negative 1 on the y. And there's my negative 1 on the y. So I wind up landing right there on my grid. And this is kind of fun, too, because we get to deal with our, pos our positives and our negatives. We just have to make sure we're being uh, real careful where we're headed on our grid here. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, the other, only other thing I want to talk about is you'll notice that when it comes to our um, quadrants here, and these are called quadrants, um, they all have similar characteristics. You'll notice that everything here will be a positive. So we have a positive x and a positive y. So in our ordered pairs, we'll have two positives. Over here, the x will always be in our negative land for the x, and the positive or the y, and down here, and they're numbered, by the way. This one is, is quadrant number one. This one is quadrant number two. This guy over here is quadrant number three, and this guy's a double negative. We'll have negative on the x, and we have negative on the y, and our fourth quadrant, Roman numerals here, will be a positive on the x and a negative on the y. So it's all about plotting and finding and locating, okay? That's the deal, folks. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.